beautiful. Oh, girlfriend, this is my half trainer, half air crew, bloody mix of things today, but all good. Girl, you embody phenomenal woman. Oh, look who is talking. You know what they say? It takes one to know one. And when we can bounce and feed off each other, it's even more a reason to just embrace what and who we are, right? So thank you, sister. Thank you. Firstly, thank you so much. And I'm just so honored. Like, I'm so excited. Like, it's, it's my pleasure. It was so neat when I saw you at the Pacifica show the other night. And it's like, oh my gosh, we go so way back. And, you know, life gets busy and we don't get to see our people as often as we'd like to someday. So having that reconnection the other day and thanks to a creative evening was like, yes, let's let's reconnect and, and get the mm. ball rolling again. We need to do a part two then yeah. better excuse for us to get together again I know, I know i was telling vina i was messaging her and I, she was like oh my gosh that's my girl <laughs> she is everything woman empowerment like oh. female empowerment everything and i was oh, like yeah. man I, I get it i get it because oh. vina's like oh. all about that life you know you oh. know i have loved that girl for a long time and i've known her for a long time and what i've loved is also seeing her growth and development and you know i really have to always give praise and thanks and 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 acknowledge all of those sisters um who embraced my family and i so long ago when we first moved to New Zealand and um, my gratitude for moving straight to South Auckland where it was so multicultural and even though we're so different there are so many similarities between you know the South Africans and the Maori and Pacifica so even though we were so far away from home at least there was a cultural um, reference for me and Lavina and her family were definitely those sisters they used to come and hang out at the braiding whare and papatoe and yeah. you know we were doing Doing extensions and braids and dreads when people weren't doing it yet and really didn't think that other New Zealanders would embrace it and they were like oh yes book us in the bigger the better and and then that support as we all and um, really found our creative voices found our creative arts and skills and what I love about back then the the Mavi Owl girls I really felt like they didn't really always get the national and international recognition that they should have because they were ground breaking in a whole other way before that sound and that harmonizing was being put on absolute showcase right and so I, I do remember being at, at a music awards one year and um I think one of the Mavi Al girls may have been nominated for um best vocalist of the year and didn't win and we were like wow oh my gosh here I am you know with True Bliss doing what we do and loving it but it was actually those young uh, Pacifica sisters that even helped encourage me and, and, and helped lay that foundation to say bring out our cultural arts showcase and highlight what we do wear our hair and our costumes and the way we feel comfortable to do so so thank you for passing on that um Lavina uh, shared some positive um wahine you know sisterhood but the mm. feeling is absolutely mutual and I'm so so proud of her and her sisters and all of the Fano out there you know doing what we do when we can mm, I love it I love it girl you could talk all day I love listening I best stop talking <laughs> need, a little <laughs> girl you need your own podcast show for real for real I think we might have to tag team sister oh, <laughs> sis I love that I love that well you know with your busy schedule you, you know we're gonna have to like really make it real tight get that schedule locked <laughs> Well, well, let's be real. If some of us could do this stuff full time, we would be, which is why I want to put that call out there to our, our sponsors, our supporters, our endorsers. There are so many of us that would love to do the podcasts and the talk shows and our music and our television um, shows all the time, full time. Mm. Um, and I just really do think that it's time that mainstream creative New Zealand television networks, media networks actually look into what so many of us have done for so long for free because the struggle is real we've got to set up our own things and do what we can and for so long there weren't always mainstream te 
technology and channels available to us. So I am going to put a call out there to say, hey, peeps, this is what we do. This is what we love. And um, if not for me, for the likes of Queen Shirl and Co, uh, make some platforms more accessible accessible and available to us because we've got some stories to share. Oh, girl. <laughs> you know, you can just Google True Bliss if you haven't heard, like, honestly, with the new generation because our era, girl, we were, like, on the screen watching the whole thing. You know, we followed that whole journey, sis, and I really wanted to dive into your world and, and find out what was it really like and, and what was the chemistry like between you guys and was there any drama? Girl, we want to hear the juice. And was there drama? Oh, hell yes, there was. <laughs> um, you heard it right here, live and direct. And I just say some of the drama that played out you know, sometimes it wasn't actually as showed out or played out in its true authenticity to what really happened. So, for instance, you know, there's there's one um, scene and that I remember where Erica and Carly are having almost a debate, almost an argument around Carly had a sore tooth. And all you saw, or all, all we saw on the TV screen was Erica going, well, Carly, you know, this should be happening for your teeth and you should be going to dentistry. And then Carly's like, oh, Erica, you should calm down. So that's what shows on the show. Mm. What you don't realize is Erica was actually going in and protecting and covering Carly, saying, you know, really the show producers should be helping you pay to get your dentistry work done. But because we don't get paid at the moment and because there isn't money, we're mm. left in this predicament. That part was taken out. And then just the girls blowing up at each other was shown. And it's like, hey, in its full sense, this was actually two women originally supporting each other but you took little tidbits wow. to make it more dramatic than it was and that wow. happened a few times wow that's crazy who would have thought eh? Mm -hmm. that's so and crazy. and who would have thought the very woman that said i'm not wearing those shoes which was sneakers with wide-legged pants girl 22 years later that's mm. the very thing that is in. Our stylist knew what she was doing. <laughs> Word up. The positive side or the beauty of it is, is that, and, and I do believe that sometimes our young people can actually be even a little bit more educated than what we are these days mm. or were back then because they have access to this is how it should be done and this is how it shouldn't be done. Uh, people are being more real about their true lived experiences that previously you might have been embarrassed about. You know, yeah. R&B, hip hop crews, they don't want to say, yo, we were singing all this gangster lean lyrics and we're the man. But actually, little do you guys know that we also got ripped off. You know, there's a bit of um, mana and power and strength that's taken from you. Yeah. And sometimes you don't want to um, speak that truth. But nowadays, our people are going, no. We need to speak out that truth. We need to protect others. And I feel like our young people are a little bit more um, staunch and a little bit more inquisitive and curious about what's going out there. And they have access to it immediately. Whereas for us, we had to wait till the next Sunday when the Sunday Star or the Herald came out. We had to wait for our, um, you know, all of our stats and our ratings to come out with the and TV guide and read those back the pages. Courier, the Monaco yeah. Courier. <laughs> Pay to the Monaco Courier and what have they got to say? These days it's so much more instantaneous and they do have access to information that previously was held by corporations. It was held by the heads who was really, you know, controlling things. And these days the word is be your own business person. Mm -hmm. Know what money goes in, know what money comes out. I wish somebody was there to tell me because then I would have been like, hang on a minute, y'all. And you know, back then too, girlfriend, it was also a case of we had this real humbleness and gratitude for being accepted or being invited along. And you know, with our people, sometimes it's, hey, if you get an opportunity, be grateful for it and then don't speak out too much against the grain. And you know, with our people, sometimes it's, hey, if you get an opportunity, be grateful for it and then don't speak out too much against the grain. Mm -hmm. I still I love that humbleness. I still love that gratitude. But you can be humble and grateful and still be in the know and still control your own destiny moving forward. Beautiful. So true, girl. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs>